Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Thanks for joining in. And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much. I really appreciate your watching. Today we are going to be working with the Flowering Cactus product medley. And I just love it. I can't believe living in Arizona that I finally opened it up this week. I really haven't played with it. Uh, it's in our spring mini catalog, our January through June catalog. And it's really so much fun and bright colors, which I love, cactus, which I love. Um, so we're gonna be playing with that today, okay? It's on page eight and nine of the catalog. So you can see it here. And it's just pretty, it's got some, some purples in it and some just some really gorgeous, some gorgeous things. Um, and what's so cool, hey Linda, thanks for joining today. What's so cool is it comes with the stamp set, the die set, the designer paper, so a pack of six by six designer paper, and I'll show you there's a page in there, you get eight sheets that the dies coordinate with, so you can cut out cacti from that. Um, it comes with some felt sheets, embellishments that you can pull off for flowers for the cactus, and two little rolls of twine, so it's pretty darn cool. Hey Linda, hi Deb, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's a really neat product medley, and it also has a refill. So the refill is what you need because it has the paper and the embellishments, the twine. Um, you don't need another stamp set, right? So it's just the parts of the product medley without the stamp set and dies. So it's pretty cool. Uh, before we start on that, a couple things. Let me show you, this is May's Paper Pumpkin. And this is called the Batter Up, as you can see. It sounds like it's going to be some cards, and it also has um, a couple sticks of chewing gum in it. So I think it'll be kind of fun. Definitely fun for those uh, family members, kids who get to play baseball this spring. Some are playing, some aren't, depending where you're living. But it'll be fun. And also just for those uh, baseball lovers in your life, right? So even if they are like to sit in their easy chair and watch baseball, it's still, this will make the perfect card to send to them. So uh, keep track of that. But just a reminder, my next video will be Wednesday night, April 28th, I believe. It's the last Wednesday of the month. That's when I do my paper pumpkin video. So I make up some alternatives, a scrapbook page and a 3D item to show you using that month's kit. So uh, the kit that is coming, it's a few days late, Stampin' Up! said, but it's going to be coming. Hopefully it will be here by uh, the 28th and I'll show you what I've come up with it. This is the So Cool kit this month. So I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, in May, the end of May, I will do the Batter Up kit. So I like to do a 12 by 12 scrapbook page every month with that paper pumpkin kit. So so take a peek and watch out for that. You can take a peek at my YouTube channel at Chick Stamper um, to look for previous months as well if you have a kit and you're wondering what to do with it. All righty. Hey, Nancy. Thanks for joining today, you guys. I really appreciate it. I love this flowering cactus product medley, and it's it's been a lot of fun this week to play with. I haven't had as much time as usual to play this week, but I've been having fun and making up some different cards to show you, so I appreciate that. Um, okay, let's put the camera down, and let me get you brought up on my laptop so that I can see, hopefully, what, what you're seeing and that you're seeing everything in a good light. So hang on just a sec. I've got one light here I see isn't on. Okay, let me turn the camera down. Hang on just a second. Let me bring up my, my lights and let's see how we're doing here. All righty. So when it came time to design this week, look at this, how adorable are these? So the flowering cactus, it's called the product medley because it comes with the stamp set. Here's the die set. And then it has gorgeous paper and gorgeous, these adorable um, felt embellishments. Here's my pile of stuff for you. Look at this paper. Isn't that fun? I just love these colors. And you can see how this top sheet this die fits this cactus here, so three different shades. And then this die fits this little cactus here. 
And then you've got some uh, flowers with uh, some dice that fit some of those. Isn't that fun? Look, here's a flowering one that fits that one exactly. So I just love that. To me, it adds so much more value to the designer paper when I can use some of my dies on it as well. Obviously, the dies coordinate with the stamps. And here's my other stuff I wanted to show you. These felt adhesive sheets. Look how cute these are. We're gonna be using these today, but you get four purples and four Calypso corals. So this is Highland Heather. And it's hard to tell but they've got all the stitching on them, but there's all these little pieces. So all these little flowers, flowers for the cacti that you can put on. Um, it's just really cool. And then it also comes with twine. So some linen thread and Calypso coral and then the natural chrome cake color of the linen thread. So pretty cool, right? Today's projects I've also paired with the Hippo and Friends dies. You know that I just love these dies that are nesting. They're so great to use. And today we're gonna actually be using this die, so we're not gonna nest it, and then also this small one on this one. But they're great sizes to use, and this set is carrying over into the new catalog, you guys. Isn't that exciting? So you've probably seen the cover of the new catalog. Let's take a peek and put it here for you. And um, Wednesday, no, Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday, next Tuesday the 20th is when I'm gonna be shipping out catalogs. So if you have purchased from me in the last six months, you are on my list and you will be receiving one next week. If you'd like one, send me a message and let me know. If you haven't purchased from me in the past, I'll just send you a PayPal invoice for $10, but I'll also send you a coupon with your catalog for $10 off your first order. So, so you'll get that money right back. That just helps with my shipping though. But it's so gorgeous. You're gonna love it. Okay, so now I can kind of see a little bit that I'm a little crooked, aren't I? Let's see if that helps. It's hard to tell. All right, so do you want to see today's cards? I think they're pretty cute. We've got a fun, fun fold too. All right, so here's the first card we're going to make. Isn't it cute? And on this die sheet, this die right here kind of stars is what I use to cut out the top part here. How fun is that? And then you can see that I cut out pieces from the designer paper, a couple cactus there, and then some, uh, well, maybe barrel cactus or a small saguaro uh, in different colors here. So I'll show you as we go through that. And then look what I did with these little stars that I cut out, I put some of them back on this cactus. Why not? just to kind of make it colorful. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So that's our first card. And then our second card today is a cute fun fold. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So this has a belly band. So let's take the belly band off and I'll show you what we got going on underneath it. And then this piece opens up and a cute area here to write uh, your greeting wishes, whichever, whatever type of card you've decided this is going to be. And then it folds back up and you put that belly band back on. Isn't that fun? So that's the second card we're going to make today. Okay, guys, I hope you like it. Okay, so yay, I found you on my, on my laptop. Sometimes that's half the battle for goodness gracious sakes. And let's put you down here a little bit, maybe. Trying to balance you out. Oh, thanks, you guys. Oh, yay. Hey, Princess. Oh, yay, Diane. You did. You're in it. You're in the right spot, sweetie. <laughs> thanks for finding me. Okay, so we're going to start with this card. I just think it's adorable. But I want to show you a little bit uh, what I did. And I'm not sure if you can see, but on this crumb cake piece... See how it's, there's some indentations there. So what I did is I ran a piece of crumb cake uh, cardstock right through my embossing folder. And this is the old world paper 3D embossing folder. And I don't think this is carrying over, um, but it's really fun. But what I did is once I, once I 
uh, made my piece. I made sure that it was five inches long and then I trimmed off one inch at a time. So one inch for each card, turned it over so it had the indentation side showing and put that down. So I'm gonna show you that, all right? But if you're wondering where that came from, that's how I made it. Okay, so we're gonna start with a Mossy Meadow card base. And we'll get this burnished. It's scored at four and a quarter. So just a regular card base here. And then here's that one inch that I was telling you about, right? Of the, so I wanted it to look like sand, look like the desert. So, but I wanna trim it just a little. Um, I just kinda wanna round the corners, just so it doesn't look really starch, stark, I guess is more of a word. And I'm gonna kinda just put some curves. There is no right or wrong to this, you guys. I'm just trying to soften it up a little bit and then round this corner. But again, it started at one inch and I did it by five inches because that's the length of my Calypso Coral paper. All right, so remember, all of the dimensions today will be on your free PDF. You can download later this afternoon on my blog at chickstamper.com. So the video will be there, the link to YouTube, um, pictures, things like that, as well as a link to download the tutorial, okay? So you don't have to worry, I don't have to worry about saying correct measurements because I feel horrible if I did it wrong. The PDF has everything correct for you. So I'm just gonna put this, we'll call it sand, desert piece, right here on the bottom. And um, then we'll, we'll mount it. I don't have any ribbon or anything, so then this Calypso coral piece will be able to go right onto our card base. There we go. All right, and so I've got kind of a wide um, edge of my card base showing for my Mossy Meadow just because I wanted it to show Okay, there we go. So now I wanna bring in some of these um, cactus. So I had some things cut out and I've got a sponge dauber. Let me show you. I cut out a mint macaron and pear pizzazz, but I wanna kind of uh, make them look a little bit more lifelike. So I've just got my mossy meadow ink and my sponge dauber. No right or wrong, I'm just gonna go around the edge of both of them and a little bit on the surface. See how this dye is pretty cool. It has, um, it already has kind of the prickles already into the dye, so it embosses that part. So it's very lifelike. If you could see my yard, you'd know that to be true. I don't have um, I have some barrel cactuses, I guess, in my yard. I don't have any uh, big saguaros or anything, but I have some other, several other types of cactus. Did you know saguaros themselves are, well, they're very much protected. So if you have one in your yard, it's very exciting. You can't, but you can't dig it up and move it if it's over a certain, I don't remember, maybe six feet high or something. There's lots of rules. They're very protected. And when developers um, cut them, or not cut them up, uh, dig them up, they have to kind of save them and replant so many back into the development if they're building. And, and then I think they can sell them, but they sell for a lot of money. So it's pretty fun. Our, in fact, our neighbors, well, we've lived in our house almost 21 years, and they've lived in here the same amount of time. They moved in right before we did. And they had a really tall saguaro with, oh gosh, maybe five arms, which means it's over 100 years old, just gorgeous. And it just fell down this winter, it was so sad. So anytime we can see them, it's a, it's a joy. All right, so I've got those kind of, kind of weathered a little bit, I suppose you could call it. But I'm going to just put some adhesive on the back 
nothing fancy. And this one I want to be kind of in between where these little stars are. And then my pair of pizzazz one I'm gonna put off to the right a little bit. I'll make him kind of a little shorter. There we go, that was pretty easy, right? Okay, so I have these two that I cut out from the designer paper. Remember how easy that was, how I showed you how it, it the dies line up and match? So I'm gonna put this on with some uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. And kind of pop it up a little bit. This card is a pretty simple card to come together. And there's, again, no wrong or right, however you like it. It kind of depends where your stars, these stars are a little low, so I'm gonna put my cactus kind of low. That's That works though. And then this cactus, the same thing. Let me get some dimensionals on him. And we'll put him on there. So how do you, what I'm, I'm curious, how do you guys, if you live in other areas, now I know other states have cactus, right? Texas and I think Las Vegas, I've seen them. Um, but if you live in an area that doesn't have cactus, do you still like this set? Are you, is it something you would still order or have you already ordered it? Because I think it's just adorable, but I, but I want everybody to like it, right? <laughs> Okay, so for our sentiment, I'm going to use that small die from the um, Hippo and Friends dies. I've got some thick basic white paper because once it stands up, I want it to be nice and sturdy and you can see it doesn't bend real easily. I like that. So some Mossy Meadow ink. And my sentiment says, I love how our friendship has grown. There we go. So this is gonna go right here on some more dimensionals. We'll just put them on the edges here. There we go. Now we can decorate. So remember when we cut those stars out, I saved some. So I've got those right here, and we'll get our little felt flowers out. We'll put some of those on. And so I'm gonna use some uh, of our liquid glue, our multi-purpose liquid glue. Now those of you who watch me, you know, I normally don't use this glue because I'm kind of messy with it. I'm not, um, it's hard for me to put just a little dab. So I'm gonna practice, I'm gonna try, but it really works well with the uh, felt. Uh, embellishments. So I'm just going to kind of pick some. They may not be as exact as what I used on the first card, but they'll be something cute, I know. Let's see. We'll put this one on. Oh my goodness. Lots of cute ones. So cute. And maybe that, okay. And then I'm gonna also use the liquid glue for these orange little stars. Just a little dab. Again, <laughs> not my forte to be nice and neat with this, but I'm gonna try. Probably should have my little silicone sheet out. But this is working, I suppose. Isn't that fun? So it's just a way to kind of just add. And actually some of my cactus out in my yard do have kind of orangey pricklers, so. Let's 
it's even kind of truthful putting these on. But I also like them because they match the card. And sometimes, you know, that's just more, impo more important when you're making the card to have things on there that, that balance it with the color, right? Oop, don't want too much on there. No messes, Carol. There we go. Kind of cute. All right, so let's put a little bit right here on the back side of this one. And we'll put them up here. Oh, Amy. <laughs> Once he dries, he's fine. I just have to talk him into sitting there while he dries. And a little, another Highland Heather flower here. This one I'm going to put on the sentiment to kind of help balance that and give us three of the Highland Heather colors on here. And we'll put one right there, hopefully. Hopefully he'll stay right where I want him to. There we go. Okay, so let's see um, about stamping our, so here's our inside piece and our envelope. And I've got a cactus from the stamp set, of course. We call these pancake cactus. <laughs> because these little pieces you actually can cut off and um, grill if you'd like. And then the flowers on them is, um, they're technically called prickly pear cactus, but the flowers you will find in restaurants, they will make margaritas out of them. So it's nice that it's not going to waste. There we go. Last year, my husband cooked up uh, some of these pa little paddles, right? Paddles or pancakes. Um, and it was interesting. I didn't eat a lot of it. He ate more of it than I did, but it was kind of cute. Oops, let's stamp this one as well. So have you guys ever cooked cactus or when you've been traveling, have you eaten it anywhere here in Arizona or even in Mexico? I guess if you've had tequila, you've had had it because that's, well, I'm not sure if the agave plant is an actual cactus, I guess. Maybe just a desert plant. Okay, so there's our envelope and our inside. Let's get some adhesive on this and put this inside our card. There we go. Okay, there's card number one. What do you guys think? I hope you like it. I hope it's something that you would uh, remake for yourself. Oh, yay, Diane. Diane says she just got it on Wednesday. So, so perfect timing, I'm glad. Diane lives here in my town, so um, I know that she must love cactus and cacti <laughs> as much as me because we see them all the time. It's just very pretty. You feel like you're home when you see them. Well, I'm glad you've got some new ideas now, Diane. Okay, so card number two is this cute fun fold. So I'm going to take off the belly band. And you can see that I decorated it again with... Um, one of the cactus that you can cut out with the dies from the designer paper. Now there's a stamp for this, so you could totally do this stamping, but I decided to use the designer paper to show you guys, okay? And then this is the card. Isn't it cute? So we are gonna start with our 
uh, let's see, our back piece of thick basic white. Again, this is something you wanna use that thick for because you want it to be nice and sturdy. So this is just a quarter sheet of paper, four and a quarter by five and a half, easy. And then some Highland Heather that I again ran through that embossing folder, the old world uh, paper 3D embossing folder. So we'll put this on there. And on this one, I'm gonna have the bumps out. I don't know why, but it's just what I decided to do. The bumps in on the desert one and bumps out on this one. Just trying to change it up a little bit. So remember that uh, this coming Tuesday, I will send out these card kits to everybody who places an order between now and then, um, minimum $35. So you'll get everything you need to make both cards. You'll just need um, your stamps and ink and adhesives. And, but you'll have all the pieces, all the, the paper will be cut and everything. And then you'll also have this week's thank you gift. I'll sneak in there as well. Um, and on Tuesday in the same packet, it'll be a larger packet. It won't be my cute little pink ones I normally send because catalogs are going out this week. So, so you'll have a catalog in there as well. All right, so this is the card base, just a single sheet, right? That's all we need. Then we have a half sheet cut hot dog style, so four and a quarter by 11 inch uh, piece of thick basic white. Again, you want that thick uh, version so that it's nice and sturdy. And then we're gonna score it. So let me get my scoring tool here. And you can use your trimmer, whichever. Whichever you need. Okay, so let me make sure that you're on here. We're gonna score this piece, the first one and a half inches. Oh my goodness, stay in the line. I need a new, new scoring tool. Okay, and then three inches. So one and a half inches, three inches, five and a half inches, and eight inches. Okay. And eight. All righty. So let's take a peek and see. You're gonna just um, Z fold, W fold, except you have an extra line, but you're just basically going to zigzag fold it. And we'll burnish everything there. And burnish on this side. Okay. So this, let me show it to you so you can see it. This is how it's gonna go onto the card and the belly band's gonna hold it closed. But right here, let's stamp a little bit. We've got some space, so this is an area where you would write your greeting. Oh goodness, let's see if I can go back on top of this. There we go. And then we'll put a couple Highland Heather flowers. on this little cactus. We'll get one right here over this little green mark and try and help that not show good. And then we'll just put one down there. No wrong or right. Those flowers just kind of grow. And generally they bloom in around April and October. So some of my cactus have bloomed already this year, but some of them haven't. So I know that that's coming. We've had kind of a cold winter. So I think it's taking them a little longer. All right, so I've pre-cut, these are some of the pieces from the designer paper that comes with this kit. So I've pre-cut them, and again, these measurements are all on that PDF, you guys, okay? So I just need to get some adhesive on these, and we'll put them down. And the tutorial has a photo as well to kind of help you see what I did. You can, of course, use different paper, um, but if you get the kit, then it'll all be pre-cut, but you'll know where it's going, right? 
So I'm gonna put a piece right here on the end. And then this piece next. This piece I just love, it's just so pretty. The colors in this kit are just gorgeous. But I did check today, since this is a retiring item, the kit plus the uh, refill kit is still available. And in fact, I just ordered another refill kit yesterday because these are dies I'm going to keep. Did you see what I did? I Yes, I did that right upside down, doggone it. Let's see. It's a directional paper, and I'm trying to work upside down, silly me. Let's see. Oh, good. Let's put it on this way. We'll all be happier, <laughs> especially whomever I send this card to. Okay. And then this last piece with the Highland Heather flowers is going to go on that front area. Okay, so now when it opens up, it's really pretty, so your recipient can look at that. We're going to attach just the back side right here in the middle of our card base, okay? To form our card. And let me get a piece, some adhesive right along that back edge. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna do my best to center it. And then, Press it down. It probably will take some extra adhesive because you're adding it to this embossed piece, which is kind of bumpy. Okay, so that part's done. Pretty simple, right? So our belly band is just a one inch by 10 inch piece. I'm using Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to, I want it to uh, adhere in the front because I can cover that part with our medallion here. So it's that way it'll look nice on the back. So I'm just gonna fold it, but I don't want it too tight. I want it to be able to slide off and on, but that's kind of my rough fold here. So we'll just get put some adhesive on this about an inch in, and then we'll slip it over it again, and line those up. There we go. So again, it's a belly band. I want it to slide off and on. So only put adhesive underneath so that it doesn't get down onto the card, right? Okay. Let's make our cute little medallion here for our belly band. So I've got a mossy metal piece from the Hippo and Friends dies. And then I cut out another one of those cute uh, cactus from the designer paper. And I'm just gonna put him on here with some dimensionals again. And black or white dimensionals will work. I'm gonna put a few extra this time. So it can kind of hold its own on that belly band. And push that, okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna, again, there's not really wrong or right, but I'm gonna kind of put it on here so that it, it fits. It's gonna hang over a little bit, but that's okay. Maybe like right here it'll hang over. Okay, so we've got 
Some more cute flowers. Let's see what ones we want to use. We'll put one of each color. That's not realistic. <laughs> that one cactus is gonna have two different colors of flowers, but that's okay. Sometimes we just have to have fun. But it would be fun if it did, didn't it? Have two colors. And a little more liquid glue right here. Now some of you I know use liquid glue all the time. So you're proficient, <laughs> I'm not, but that's okay, it will dry. And then I've got the clips of coral twine or linen thread that comes in the kit, and I'm just gonna make a little bow. And we'll use a glue dot, a little mini glue dot to hold that on. So if you have already ordered this cute product medley, Consider getting the refill before they go away um, or consider ordering the whole thing maybe with a refill just because you won't be able to find this cute paper and stuff once they go away. Okay, so we'll put this, this little bow right here. So cute. All right, so now I'm gonna use some uh, dimensionals, some stamping dimensionals to put this piece onto the belly band, but I wanna make sure I only put adhesive right here on top of the belly band so that I don't accidentally get this piece stuck uh, top or bottom to the card itself, okay? So I'm just gonna go right in the center of this piece. That way I know I'm not gonna go off of the belly band when I attach it. And I'm just trying to center it left to right. And the die itself has this cute little uh, kind of border here, so it's telling me where the center is already. There we go. Okay, so we can slide it off and on. And we can write on it and then send it to our recipient. Isn't that cute? So let's stamp our coordinating envelope. And I'm just gonna stamp the exact same way that I did on the inside. There we go. Just a little cactus, but this stamp itself is pretty cool, this cactus stamp, because you could keep going and make this make the Cactus bigger, so it's it's pretty cool in that in that way. Let's see. And this is the Highland Heather flowers. There we go. What do you guys think? Whoops, let's put them this way for you. <laughs> so you can see them better. And then there's the other one. Which one's your favorite? What do you think? Let me show you the cute thank you gift for this week. Uh, that's gonna go out with the class kits on Tuesday. And uh, as the little thank you, uh, thank you gift pillow gift. And here it is. It says, happy looks good on you. And this is from that set. And this is part of that designer paper. But it holds a little mini Tic Tac container in there. So it's got a few little Tic Tacs. But it's just another. I like to send little treats um, 
but I also like to show people ways that they could quickly make up a lot of little treats for coworkers or kids' classes, things like that. So this is, I used everything from the kit, except this is the classic label punch, which is retiring, but this could be hand cut as well. But the twine, the little linen thread here, the embellishment, the paper, um, and then I also used one of our uh, punches on the top here. But on Tuesday, I'll post a little how-to video. So you'll get that video next week, okay? All right, you guys, let me bring you up. I'm so glad that you watched today. Thank you. And I hope that, hey, you guys, thanks for joining in and thanks for watching. I hope that you'll try the uh, Flowering Cactus product medley. It's, um, again, pretty fun. I don't know why I've waited since January to open it and play with it, but I've had a lot of fun this week. And it's for me, it's definitely said I'll be keeping living in Arizona. Um, I just think the cards are something that I can, I can, the product I can make over and over. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Just a reminder, I will be back the last Wednesday of the month for my paper pumpkin video. And that is at 6 p.m. Arizona, 9 p.m. Eastern the paper pumpkin alternative so it's scrapbook page and usually i make a 3d as well for with that as far as my friday facebook lives i do them the first and third friday may will be a little different i will be here the first friday which is may 7th um then i have the stampin up incentive trip um i feel very blessed was able to get my vaccines so my hubby and i are going on the incentive trip to maui and um, that is the third week plus a few days on either side. So, um, but I'll be back on May 7th before then. So something brand new from the brand new catalog because the catalog goes live that week. So I'm not sure what I'm going to show with you, but it'll be something fun and something from my pre-order that I've been able to play with this month. And I hope that you'll like it. So watch for me April 28th, I believe, is the last Wednesday, and then May 7th. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. I love you lots, and just take care, stay safe, and I will be back in a few weeks, okay? Bye-bye.